Sunny Digital, hip hop at lunch, let's get it. Well, birthday song, it had um it was around like um was it South by Southwest. You remember when that when that was going on? Um remember when two chains that brought out Kanye. Right. Um and so I guess they they been had that relationship or whatever. And so um, after he done that, then Two Chainz they was telling me that Kanye had came to the bus and done a verse of one of the songs for him. And then uh, he told me it was my beat. And so um, you know that's how it came about. But then how it came about to the public was like, okay, no lie had hit. Then like he needed a second single, I guess. And then he picked that one to be the second single. Then got Kanye on it, switched around some things. Like, the beat that y'all hearing ain't the original beat. Like, me and Kanye had went back in and just, like, done some different stuff with really Kanye, but, you know, just my beat. Then Kanye went back in and did his Kanye touch and then put it out to the public and shit. It just, you know, we just put it out and I was doing what it's doing. What did Kanye say to you, man? Like, when he hit you up or say you wanted to, like, rework it or what did he say to you? When he, didn't, he didn't actually hit me up. Like, I didn't get a chance to um, talk to him until the video shoot, but, um... He ain't hit me up, I, I, but I already kind of figured, like, because Kanye do that with, like, everything. He always put his touch on it, though, you know, no right. matter, like, what. So, I was, I was already, like, looking forward to that. So, um, he had done that, and then, like, when I, um, we went and shot the video on um, New York and Yonkers. And so, when we was up there, um, we was sitting down, and, um, two chains that called Kanye over and introduced us and everything. Then we got to talk just briefly, though, because we was doing the video, so I want, like, a lot of time just to sit there and be talking, though. But he asked me if I liked what he had done to the beat and stuff, you know, like, just little things like that, though. But, you know, that shit was still, that little two-second conversation was still cool to me, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> shit, Kanye West talking to this mega star, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was the move. Yeah, about production, that's something he knows so well, man. Exactly, so it's hopefully, something. hopefully we get the work, though. Um, two chains telling me, like, you know, it's a good chance, you know, I'll probably be up there working with him, so hopefully everything falls through. Yeah, man, no, and 2 Chainz on top of the game right now, like, what's it like working with 2 Chainz, man? 2 Chainz is one of the coolest niggas in the game, <laughs> I swear to God, man, like, he cool as hell, he just like a regular dude, you know what I'm saying, he ain't like no, no extra shit, you know what I'm saying, he just cool, you know what I'm saying, like, he ain't no, no bougie celebrity, nothing like that, you know what I'm saying, like, he still recorded his studio, you know, still do his thing, you know. Every time we go, you know, we got good vibes. It's cool. We just do what we need to do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's one of the smartest rappers I've met, too. Yeah, you know, he's smart as hell, like, for real. Definitely. And then I want to talk about Juicy J. I know you've done a bunch of great tracks with Juicy J, and he's just always bringing a lot of energy. Like, I want to talk real quick about that Juicy Can't song, man. Like, man. how that one come about? Um, Really, I forgot how I actually um, linked up with Juicy J. I really forgot because we had been fucking around, like, for a minute now. But um, it was me just sending beats through at the right time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, dropped the shit with Lex Luger, uh, the uh, Rubber Band Business, the right. first one. He's working on the second one. Then I sent him a gang of beats. Actually, I gave him that one. He he came to Atlanta and then um, I gave him that beat. A couple months down the road, the shit was out, and that was that. You know what I'm saying? Like went real good. So, oh, people quote that like crazy, man. He, he quoted. You heard, you heard this new song, um, <laughs> Bands Make a Dance. You right, say no yeah. little ratchet pussy, Juicy J. K. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, people loving that, man. Mm -hmm. And then Future, I know you've been messing with Future and the whole Rax thing, and you've been a big part of his movement. And mm -hmm. He always messes with you, and you guys seem to have that chemistry where you make the hits. Like, I want to talk about uh, Same Damn Time. I know it's yeah. one of his bigger tracks. Like, what's it like working with Future Man and making that track? Uh, you know, real, realistically though, I don't really be in the studio with like a lot of artists when they actually do the track. You know, we be on two different pages. Like I might, I can't, I can't be there all the time though, because I got other artists I got to tend to too. You know what I'm saying? But apparently, me and Future, we ain't got to be together to make hits though. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just the beats and the vocals just correspond just perfectly. You know what I'm saying? Like they just lay on top of each other just perfectly. Like we can say anything. I can send him anything, and he put anything on it, it'll be a hit. You know what I'm saying? Like we just, we just. Just like kind of like a perfect combination, kind of like the Zayn Gucci of 2012. You know what I'm saying? So right. We just make some good ass music together. So. So what should we be looking out for next, man? You working on your own project? Uh yeah, I, I'm actually I actually did um me and my brother Q we did a mixtape for us Atlanta. Then um uh, me and Drum Boy we working on one. And then um as far as production go, I got a lot of shit, man. You know you know how that how you know the shit up in there, but it ain't it ain't dropped yet. It's, that's just how it is. I'm just waiting for it to drop, man. When it drops, that's when I find out when it come out. You know what I'm saying? But I know I got some shit coming with, uh, with Wiz Khalifa. Um, Juicy J, definitely. Trade the Truth. I, just, I was um, talking to him yesterday. We chopped it up. 
He all fucking with me. Um, and shout out to Trey, man. He's cool as hell. Yeah, he's cool <laughs> in the motherfucker, man. I just, he just called me out the blue. We had a nice little conversation yesterday. 